Hey Equestrian Gamers, Cooley here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be kind of putting two videos into one because there's a few things happening today. Now one part of the video will be showing you guys the three new Mustang colours in Wild Horse Islands. It's like a mini update while we wait for the next big update which is the breeding update so there are three new mustangs to collect i'll show you guys those ones soon but the main thing we're doing this video for is to prepare for the breeding update i'm actually going to ask you guys for help so I am here riding Isabella. We're so matchy matchy. It's so cute. So as if you guys watch my videos, you know that Isabella is like my mascot. She is my ride or die mare. For the breeding update, she is going to be the first horse I breed. So she's going to actually have the first foal ever in my like on my island, like. It's so exciting, so, so exciting. Now, I'm having a little trouble deciding who I should breed her with. So, I'm actually leaving it up to you guys. Over here behind me, you may have noticed a large variety of different horses running around. So, these horses are all stallions. And these are the horses you guys are going to be able to choose from to breed with Isabella. So it will be a vote. So whichever stallion gets the most votes will be bred with. But I'm going to show you guys one by one every single horse here. So you guys can get a closer look and also know their name. So you can say, hey, I'm voting for so-and-so. So let's have a closer look. Let's pick up Isabella. So I'm going to grab all the horses. One of the new Mustangs here. I wanted to get a really, really good variety as well for you guys to choose from. Here we go. Come on, we shall collect them all. Come here, Teddy. There we go. Oh, Enzo. Come here. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, next. <laughs> we'll get him. Everyone else is so well behaved, Enzo. Oh my gosh. So a couple of these horses you will recognize from previous videos, especially my stable tour. Come here, Duff. Oh, paycheck. Thank you. All right, two more. And so, oh boy. Okay. So starting off, let's start with Enzo because we need to talk about Enzo. Here we go. So Enzo is a Valentine Frisian. Now, I know that breeding will not make event horses um, like less rare. So by that, I am guessing that when you breed event horses, if they're even breedable, uh, you will not get a event coat for the foal. That is my guess. I'm not 100% sure as of yet. I honestly do not know whether I can even breed Enzo to start off with. So he's a bit of a wild card. Um, I honestly don't even know if it's possible to breed with him. So if he wins the vote and it turns out I can't breed him at all it will go to the second most voted for stallion if he is breedable i'm guessing that isabella and enzo will probably throw a white frisian like a plain white frisian 
Uh, Isabella is a pure white Frisian. So she's a white Frisian with a natural white mane and tail. She's just dyed cotton candy, which will not transfer. Those dyes, I highly, highly doubt, will transfer. So it's a bit of a wild card, whether it's even possible to breed with him. But I wanted him as an option, just in case you can. Even though the foal will definitely not be a event horse, I just thought I'd add him. But yeah, that's the disclaimer on Enzo. So, I don't know. We shall have to wait and see with him. But let's have a look at the other stallions. So we have Scorpio. Scorpio is one of the new Mustangs. He is a Palomino Sabino Mustang. Absolutely stunning. Like, look at the face markings. Isn't that beautiful? I think I got his coat colour right. Hang on. Yeah, Palomino Sabino coat. Yes, and he's a pure. So he has a Palomino mane and Palomino tail. So what I'm actually really hoping for is Isabella's foal will have the body of a Frisian, but with a different coat colour that's not typical to the Frisian breed. So can you imagine this coat colour on a Frisian? That would be amazing. That's my goal is to have as many different new coloured Frisians as I possibly can. I'm going to breed all the horses. <laughs> but this is Scorpio. Next up, it's night time already, we have the other new Mustang, which is Vincent. This is a Buckskin Sabino, I believe. Let me check. Tabino, sorry. So Buckskin Tabino Mustang, yes. So Vincent is a, another option for you guys to vote on if you wish to. Do please keep your votes to one or two horses only only um, if we get too many uh, people like voting for multiple horses it's going to be really hard to figure out who actually wins so please keep the votes to one or two horses only all right if anyone does vote for more than two horses i will not count the rest of um the votes in that comment so make sure we keep it fair guys make sure we keep it easy to figure out who the winner will be all right so next up we have pebble pebble is a pure black frisian so in the stats he is dyed black and white mane and tail but that won't count for anything so pure black frisian pebble Put in pasture. Oh, actually, guys, I thought I lost him. I thought I accidentally sold him. But that's good to know I still have him. I didn't realise he was in the paddock. Of course he was. Oh, my goodness. All right, next up we have Eclipse. Eclipse is a black Sabino Arabian. Here he is, looking stunning in all his lunar tags. He's a very cute boy. Again, can you imagine a Frisian with this coat? Oh my gosh. It would be so amazing. So that's Eclipse. Okay, who's next? I can't look at the camera. My head keeps turning. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, you guys should know this horse. We're going to hop down. This is Galaxy's Angel. Galaxy Angel is a pure white Frisian. He is stunning. I've had this boy for a fair while now. So he is currently wearing the purple fade mane and tail. So my guess is if we breed Isabella with a pure white Frisian like Galaxy's Angel, then we're going to have a high chance of getting a pure white Frisian bowl that's my guess at the moment so galaxy angel is another option i've got 12 stallions for you guys to choose from we have dreamer dreamer is a dapple palomino thoroughbred stunning stunning boy i want thoroughbred frisian so badly oh sorry 
the Palomino Frisian so badly. Palomino is my favourite coat colour in the game. So I'm super duper excited to try and get Palomino Frisians. It'd be absolutely amazing. I know Trick has one. Um, and it look it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's my goal. This is Dreamer. Who is next? La Mirage. So this boy is a Bay Sabino Arabian. Here we go. He is such a handsome boy. I wanted to go with interesting coat colours just to see if we can uh, get that to work. Oh, he's a beautiful boy. So La Mirage. Next up, we have Teddy. So Teddy is a Chestnut Rabicano Arabian. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> La Mirage didn't move an inch. There we go. So this is Teddy. Now, I'm actually going to point this out. The markings on these Arabians are not their ribs. These are actually stripes. So if anyone was curious about that, it's stripes on their body. Um, Enzo, excuse me, I know you're beautiful, but it's not your turn. Thank you. So Teddy is a, another option. All right, next up we have Arrow. Arrow is a dapple grey Clydesdale. I chose Arrow because, well, dapple grey is gorgeous, but I'm kind of hoping that the white stockings on his legs and his beautiful white face will transfer to a foal. So I thought that could be quite interesting. I think that could look really, really nice. So that is Arrow. I've had a few people join me, so there are a few horses running around that aren't mine, guys. <laughs> Just if you were wondering what was happening. All right, so second last choice is Phantom. Phantom is the black Overo Mustang. Again, interesting coat. There we go. So Trick was actually saying that there is different um, chances of what you can the foal will turn out to look like. And there can be up to six different coat colours on one foal, which is amazing. So I'm so excited. I love when breeding is random and you have to really work to get what you want. I absolutely love that. It's going to be so much fun. So this one is Phantom. We'll put him in the pasture. And for the final stallion, we have Showtime, who is a dapple grey thoroughbred. Here he is. He is beautiful. So I thought the dapple grey would be a very nice colour if I can, um, if, if Isabella throws a Frisian looking bowl. He is beautiful. We'll pop him in the pasture as well. So as you guys may have noticed, some of the names on these stallions were suggested by you guys in my stable tour video when I was showing off a few of my horses. So I've actually named them um, after suggestions. So thank you so much for the ideas. I really appreciate it. And I have been using them. You may not see them all the time in videos, but I have been using them. All right. So that is all the stallions that you guys can vote for. Leave your votes down in the comments. And let's move on and have a closer look at the three new Mustang colours. Starting off with the brown Mustang. So this coat colour is common. Then we have the buckskin Tobiano, which is classified as uncommon.
And finally, the rarest Mustang in game, which is the Palomino Sabino. So this is now the rarest Mustang coat color. I wanted to thank everyone who joined me today and stopped by to say hello and to join me in this video. I appreciate all of you so incredibly much. I wouldn't be where I am without you guys supporting me. I am extremely, extremely thankful and so excited for the breeding update. Good luck in the vote, guys, and I shall catch you all in the next video.